fright from the tortoise. And there is Ronald, you can see. Now, as we got here, someone said, well, are elephants scared of tortoises? Because they, we know that they're afraid of mice, which of course was just a joke, but clearly they are afraid of tortoises. That was hilarious. Poor little tortoise is obviously after the same thing that the elephant is, and that's marula fruits. Anyway, let's go across to Ronald's feed and have a look at him, see what he can see of this elephant. There's Ron. Oh no, that's horrible. I can't believe that. He's destroying this tortoise. That is dreadful. That really makes one feel very little affection for this very nasty kind of thing. So you didn't see there, but what he did was he kicked the tortoise. And I don't know if he stomped on him or her, but Ronald is now frozen in terror that the same fate might befall him. <laughs> And you can see Ronald has got a, an entirely new get-up. He's sort of got ready for uh, for TV. You can see he's got a wooden frame now. It's camouflaged. It's got a special grid at the back. And this elephant, which is behaving in a manner not unlike that of a spoilt child, well, is producing some fear for him. Let's go back to Ronald's picture and have a look at what Ronald can see. There we are. You can just see this quite astounding pictures there, this elephant eating marula fruits. Now the tortoise is behind the elephant. I'm going to suggest that we do not drive Ronald behind the elephant to see if he can spot the tortoise just yet. I think given the very poor attitude of this elephant, we should leave Ron exactly where he is. He hasn't reacted to the tort, at least to the rover at all. But jeepers, he did not enjoy that tortoise, did he? <laughs> I mean, I'll be, I'll be astounded if that tortoise has survived that. It was a really hard kind of uh, petulant kick. Yes, yes, Ian, you say Ellie's are pretty good at making other critters into paste. They are pretty good at that sort of thing, uh, given their size. I believe, actually, that, um, on a rather morbid note, in India, they used to train elephants for execution. So if you were a particularly naughty person, you'd have your head put on a block and an elephant, rather like a sort of more modern circus elephant, would rear up on its back legs and then stomp on your pip, as it were. And, uh, well, that obviously resulted in a fairly swift demise. The same tortoise, the same fate befell this tortoise. I don't think he stood on it. I think he just kicked it. But the dexterity of its trunk, just amazing. I think we'll leave Ronald sitting precisely where he is. Oh, there is the tortoise now. We've got the tortoise on the main camera. I don't see any movement there. Not that you'd expect to see sort of breathing. Let me see with my binoculars if I can't see the head or feet coming out. There's some movement there. Ha! How fantastic. The tortoise has survived. Well, I don't know if it's uninjured. It seems to be relatively alive. Shame. Now, what we need is a little sort of gentle taser on Ronald so that he can give the elephant a little bit of a disciplinary shock on the ankles. Bzz. I think that would be a mistake. I think the elephant would take great 
a fence at that. Look how many marulas he's eating and how amazingly dexterous that trunk is. So greedy. So greedy, says Seb. Most of those, of course, will come out completely intact. And for those of you who are experiencing your first marula season, these marula fruits cannot germinate, apparently, unless they have passed through the digestive system of an elephant. And it is the most astounding kind of convergent evolutionary process here, where the tree has learnt that in order to be most effective, what it needs to do is drop the fruits on the ground before they ripen, so that the elephant doesn't push the tree over in order to get at the fruit that it loves so much. Now, Dances with Gert, Dances with Dirt, what a wonderful name, Dances with Dirt. You say, how old is this elephant? Well, your clue, apart from his size, obviously, in the normal things we look at, your clue is the way he reacted to that tortoise. You'll probably find that largely elephants over the age of 25 wouldn't have done that to a tortoise. I would put this guy at between 18 and 20 years old, just kind of a bit petulant still. He's young, he is frustrated, I suppose, because he's been tossed out of the herd. He doesn't have any friends. And so, unfortunately, anything that gets in his way that is smaller than him is going to get bear the brunt of his frustrations. <laughs> 